Today is National Women's Health and Fitness Day. In the days of athletes like Mia Hamm, Ronda Rousey, Venus and Serena Williams, and Simone Biles, it's easy to forget that at one point in history, women were actively discouraged from exercising. So today, we'd like to salute Katherine Switzer, who became the first woman to complete the Boston Marathon in 1967. Katherine was attending Syracuse University in 1966, where she was unofficially practicing with the men's cross-country team because there were no women's teams. When Katherine asked her coach about running the Boston Marathon, she was told that 26 miles is too long for fragile women to run. But Katherine trained and registered for the race anyway. Although there was no official rule banning women from the race, race coordinators did not want women competing. About four miles into the marathon, the race manager charged at her, grabbed her shirt, and attempted to rip off her race number. Katherine's companions forcibly removed the race manager, and Katherine completed the race. This past April, Katherine would wear the same race number as she completed another Boston Marathon 50 years after her first. It's our goal to encourage health and fitness for all, and we want to thank those like Katherine Switzer, who broke down barriers to make that possible.